all chemical reactions involve transfer of heat. The reaction can either absorb heat, in that case it's called an endothermic reaction, and the heat term is on the left side of the arrow, or the left side of the chemical equation, or the reaction can release heat, and that's called exothermic, and the heat term is on the right side of the arrow, on the right side of the equation. In exothermic reaction, heat is a product. In an endothermic reaction, heat is a reactant. I'll show you an example on OWL to help clarify this. Here's a problem from OWL 5.8a. Pause the video and read the question. Complete the question on a separate sheet of paper. Come back and check your answer against mine. First, enter the reactants and products in the proper states. Then check if the equation is balanced. In this case, the equation is balanced without using any coefficients, except one for all the formulas. Next, we have to figure out how much heat um, is absorbed by this reaction. It says 0.669 kilocalories of energy absorbed for each mole of CO. Well, in the balanced equation, there's one mole of carbon monoxide. Therefore, the heat that is absorbed is 0.669. And we'll check that in a second. Here's another problem from OWL 5.8a. Again, pause the video and read the question and answer it on a separate sheet of paper. So after entering the reactants and products in the areas and in the proper format and proper states, we determine that the heat term should be on the right side because it says um, energy is evolved this reaction. Now the question is how much energy is evolved? Well it says 23.6 kilocalories for each mole of SO2 that reacts. Well two moles of SO2 react so that means twice 23.6 kilocalories of energy was evolved. So the amount of energy is 47.2 kilocalories.